Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie kind of a traditional style check nymph. This time, instead of weighting it with lead wire, I'm going to use lead tape, which allows you to do a very slender body, which is kind of the original check nymph style. And what I'm doing is I just got a thin strip of lead tape that you use for like zonkers, and I've cut it into a narrow strip. I started at the back of the hook, work my way just shy of the eye, and I'll start back. to the midpoint of the hook. And as I get to the midpoint of the hook, I'll finish up with a few turns right in the midsection. Just use up the rest of that strip. Here at the back, get rid of that little tail that's sticking up there. And now, that I've got my weight on there, you can see it's a fair amount of weight, but it's this fairly slender underbody, which allows you to keep the fly's profile a little bit narrower so it'll actually since the fly is fairly heavy it'll move through the water column a little bit faster so it's going to sink a little better next I'm just taking a little bit of 70 denier thread this is a cream color and covering up that lead a little bit it doesn't have to be perfectly uh, covered in a thread base but just cover it up now I'll take some scud back and you can use thin skin or whatever you'd like here, latex. I'll tie it in closer to the front of the hook so I can stretch it down the back of the hook. I'll take my ribbing material now. I'm going to use black ultra wire. Tie that in. And now I'll do a cream colored dubbing. A good one is like a tan rainbow sow scud dubbing. It's got some little accent color to it. Some little pink highlights, blue highlights. Do a thin rope. You don't really want these flies to be very thick. We'll start forward. Kind of adjusting our dubbing as we go. About the two-thirds point of the hook shank. I'll put in my hot spot. It's going to be bright pink dubbing. You can either use fluorescent pink ice dub or fluorescent pink sow scud dubbing. Put in our little hot spot. And then at that point, after that, we'll put in a dark brown or black. dubbing for our thorax. Usually I like to use more of a natural dubbing here that's got some guard hairs to it. You can also use something like SLF that has um, kind of some bugginess to it, something you can pick out. So we'll put a little bit of that in. This happens to be, I thought I had some black rabbit dubbing right in front of me, but I don't. This happens to be synthetic, but it, it picks out well. So now we got our three colors there. Pull our shell back over the back. I 
usually pull it back and wrap down a couple times just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and then to be doubly sure for a little half hitch in there we'll trim off our shell back and I will work that wire rib forward wire to the front of the hook, we'll tie it off. Finish the fly with a whip finish behind the eye. trim off our excess. Then the last thing you want to do is, is pick out some of the black fibers and a few of these pink fibers. We'll leave the back end of the fly alone. We're going to pick these out here. Let's take our bodkin and Tease a few fibers out. Just gives the appearance of legs there. Trim those off a little bit. Then the last thing I do is I just tint the top of the fly with a black sharpie. You don't need to tint the whole back, just the first few segments. Make sure you don't get your dubbing. And that particular color scheme has been really effective for us in our streams. A little lighter than, than you see a lot of check nymphs tied in, but that cream color with that pink thorax has been very effective. Worth a try. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. We've got a lot of videos on our website, flyfishsd.com. And you can also purchase materials to tie these flies at flyfishsd.com. Thanks for watching.